Several conditions can happen in people with diabetes when the blood glucose levels are out of control, whether too high or too low. These are emergencies, as they can be life-threatening. These conditions are hypoglycemia, diabetic ketoacidosis, hypoglycemic hyperosmolar state. So you should be aware of what these are and learn to recognize them. This will help you know what to do when it happens. However, what is more important is to try to prevent these conditions from happening in the first place. Hypoglycemia or low blood glucose means that there is not enough glucose in your blood. A blood glucose level of below 4 millimoles per litre or 80 milligrams per deciliter is considered low for most people. Hypoglycemia is caused by delaying or skipping meals or eating less than usual, extra exercise without extra food, taking too much insulin and drinking alcohol without taking food. The signs of hypoglycemia are hunger, weakness, tiredness and trembling, sweating, headache or giddiness, numbness of lips or tongue, slurred speech, confusion, loss of coordination and consciousness, skin turns pale and moist and a fast heart rate. If you have hypoglycemia, the first step is to take something sweet immediately. For example, half a glass of fruit juice, three teaspoons of sugar or honey, or five sweets. If there's no improvement within 10 to 15 minutes, repeat the step. If you're alone and feel faint, call your doctor or an ambulance at once. Once you're feeling better, eat your scheduled meal or snack. This prevents another drop in blood glucose level. To prevent hypoglycemia, eat at planned regular intervals. Eat some extra food before starting any form of heavy exercise or work. If your meal is delayed, take some fruit juice first. Take your medication as prescribed. Always have some form of sugar with you wherever you are. If your blood glucose level is too high, this condition is called hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia that has gone on for too long can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA or hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state or HHS. DKA happens when your body does not have enough insulin to use the blood glucose for energy. Your body begins to use fat for energy. This produces large amounts of chemicals called ketones. DKA is caused by a blood glucose level of more than 15 millimoles per litre for many days. Any illness, injury or operation can also lead to DKA. The signs of ketoacidosis are passing urine frequently, extra hungry or thirsty, dry mouth or skin, flushed skin, fast deep breathing, fruity smelling breath which is the smell of ketones, drowsiness and ketones in urine test results. Call a doctor or ambulance at once if you have any of these signs. DKA is treated with insulin and fluids and you're likely to be treated in the hospital. To prevent ketoacidosis, take your medicine as prescribed. Follow your meal plan carefully. Exercise. Do regular blood tests. Drink lots of water. Remember, when you're sick, having an infection or under stress, you may need to increase your insulin. Check with your doctor. Compared to diabetic ketoacidosis, which can occur very quickly, hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state, or HHS, occurs more gradually. Here, the urine ketones are negative or present in only small quantities. It can occur in older people or people with type 2 diabetes treated with insulin, tablets or diet. It's not very common and may be caused by not enough medication and illness such as infection or injury. The signs of HHS are thirst, passing large amounts of urine, feeling tired, weight loss, drowsiness and unconsciousness. So if your blood glucose level is higher than 15 millimoles per litre for more than two readings and you feel unwell, consult your doctor quickly as this is a diabetic emergency. To make sure that you get proper medical care in an emergency, especially if you're unconscious, you should always have some kind of identification with you, either a special identification pendant, bracelet or card. This is very important as the identification can help the healthcare team in making a quick diagnosis and giving the right treatment immediately.